Baron Breakfast. Uh, so GOG gave me the key for this, so we're gonna we're gonna use the GOG page for this. Um, we're playing Baron Breakfast. Uh, we're we're uh, as far as I know about the game, we're a bear, a laid back management game, adventure game, build and uh, build and run and bed and breakfast. But you're a bear. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, I suppose. So let's yeah, we'll try it out here as soon as it installs, and let's see how it goes. It's by by Gummy Cat. Can we see his team page here or the store page? There we go. Came out on the 28th of July. And from what I understand, it seems to be going over pretty well from other folks that I've seen playing it. So I figured we'll give it a go. Oh, armor games. Armor games. All right, Baron Breakfast. Let's check it out. I was first told about this one on, I think on Steam. Or, uh, no, sorry, on Discord. And I've been curious ever since. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I have a question for those of you in uh, in Twitch land and, and in YouTube land after this goes over there. Um, when you get like games like this one, there's text at the bottom. Do you like it when your YouTuber, streamer, or whatever reads the text? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Or should I just be quiet and let you read it yourself? Mom's gonna kill me. Hawk's hands get very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with the crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. I asked because I was watching someone playing something else. And I was, th I was thinking, you know, the reason we YouTube folks, the reason we read it, because I think it's just because it's something to say, <laughs> you know, rather than just dead space or whatever. <laughs> anyway. Don't what? It says do not. Yeah. Move. It says question mark. Can't do that either. Okay. Got it. It's convenient. Right, the folks that are listening to the streams, of course. Find. You mean like introspection thing? Ah. Hello. Sleep. Peace. Take a nap in the de <laughs> I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. Great at making up your mind. Wake. Oh, this was like a like a happy little bear running a bed and breakfast. What's happening? That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. No, better see what's up. I live in a cave. I'm a bear. Uh, maybe we go back this way. Where am I supposed to go? I'm lost already. I got a guitar. All right, let's go this way, I guess. I'm lost already. Is that a door over there? Oh, it's a door, isn't it? Ah, that was just a rug. I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? It's thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? In a room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. 
All right, honey. All right. Good. Get out. Morning. Out. That's not very morning of you. There's nothing good about it being up this early. I agree. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. Life for both of you. It's in the docket today, boss. Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. Oh, Mom. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How can we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Oh, we'll find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now. It's morning. We're up. Let's do stuff. It won't be betrayal never comes from your enemies. Hank. Kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mode, you can walk around, interact with things, pick up your things, pick up items in inventory. Inventory is accessed through the adventure mode menu down there. Holds everything you find in the world. You can use filters and organize button and sort through items magically. Throw away whatever you don't need and delete. So Minimap displays your current location. Day, time allows you to navigate the world. Okay, got it. There's my stuff. I've got nothing. And I've got me. I'm naked. Yeah, ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? Uh, as good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today's a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? I, know, I said no. I said I'm going past the fence, but you've been so good, and I need your help. Ah! <laughs> The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick. The flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Awesome. Don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. Well, no, no. All right, you three, and remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's so tiny. Okay, get a notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectibles are special items you unlock for your character that give you various perks. Find your current unlocked character collectibles in the character screen. Access quest lock from the menu bar. Got it. Shows your current quest, allows you to track them, and find objectives through the arrows. An indicator quest leads you through finishing main stories. Orange available, green progress, uh, blue means ready. Uh, no, sorry, blue in progress, green means ready. Okay. Go to Black Moss through the thicket. Got it. Perhaps not this way. Perhaps not this way. Where am I supposed to go? This, this is like my bedroom all over again. What's this? Can't read what it says. Well... Any map has a quest pointer, does it? This, is this it? Well, look at that. Look at that. Mini maps. Wonderful things. Three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this is not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carolian dog. Brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious. But maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to go wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. I lie. 
All right, gang. Spread out. Okay. Annie, itchy fur me just means more friends to hang out with. <laughs> Flyless birds don't know how to have. Don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally awake walking here. I'm <laughs> walking here. Uh oh. Tire screeches. Tires with a Y is kind of screeches. What in the what? I heard it too. We better go. We haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom says straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found that yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No. Come back. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. One big rock. All right, let's go up there. There's sparkles over here. Let's go get the sparkles. Oh, I'm stuck. Timber Crossing. Oh, so you can read that one, huh? Luxurious outhouse. Okay. This is my place, isn't it? I have planks, don't I? What did I just pick up? Let's chat with this fellow over here. Bus station. Uh, hey, what you find? Will? Those birds don't know how to go. Okay, okay. Hey, Finn. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Show who's boss. Straight Shark had a shiny, bouncy interior, exterior, and wore cool sunglasses. Well, the gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense, and reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain, and grab opportunity by the throat. Sure, yeah, yeah. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major adventure? Well, not anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. Offering secured touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal... Personal collateral. You lost me. I don't think you ever had me to begin with, says Will. Just bring your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom in, of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, but I don't have to make anything expensive or a hair loom. Oh, my is also on the lookout for a brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley, we will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. For humans to live here? I don't think anyone, anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in the magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, redecorating, or bringing it to a minimum standard with f which frankly, Frankie, which Frankie no one en enforces <laughs> and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, Simply press the green button under my gullet, and a representative will get in touch. Well, I push the button. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard the shark ride, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. 
Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I hear was humans coming back. Well, the money has to get there somehow. Humans? I barely see them in months. Einfach. Thanks for following. And that's one. And that's more than enough. Now, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for them. That's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> you back money give good. A dad joke. <clears throat> so um, I was at this uh, this um, friend's house today. Uh, thanks for following X. And um, I couldn't believe my eyes. I was disgusted. They put the dartboard on the ceiling. It made me throw up. Back to the game. Back to the nonsense. I'm going to be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. His ability. If you're in adventure mode, you get two additional options. Uh huh, uh huh. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight, you can sleep the following morning. Advance this time. Got it. If you'd like to see inside most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. Okay. After the first round, it was a one eyed competition. <laughs> Refund? What do you mean? <laughs> no, no refunds. <laughs> nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Yeah, yeah. Push the button. Yeah, yeah. Push the button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification for data from the local police department. Welcome to the family. Error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually ob obliged to provide your premium property premium property details within the next three business days. Press the green button on my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guests. Who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of houses in the magazines we found. Could humans maybe just live under a bus? Uh, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easy. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making place cozy. And I do not get scared easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Alright, what do you what do you want, buddy? Phyllis Bert, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's your quest. Got it. All I'm missing is a picnic basket. I'll take some wood. More up here. I'm gonna get run over crossing the street like this. There's pine fall. Alright. Fall here. Some fancy art. simply punch the trees. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Hey, Tony. By God, a bear. Just me, sir, Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk. I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I, I want to ask you if you could help us. We gotta help. Why didn't you just say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? I think Margaret would love that. Anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could possibly you have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. Felt like something upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. 
elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. You make all that? Anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you? Would you like me to teach you? Well, yeah, I sure would. I'm hoping you could fix uh, us this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. Well, I need my back saw and mallets, a ladder, a couple stacks of pine. Fest those for me, will ya? Bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. How much do you want? And with things, loot stuff, done it already. Press E again and yeah, yeah. Oh, E again. Good. Split stacks with multiple items. Scavenging one of the main ways you can obtain materials. Okay. Okay. Uh, how much do you want? Did you find all the wood? Uh, I guess I did. Grant, perfect. Doing such a great job. Uh, I just picked it off on the ground. Amazing. I'm heading to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Want to make things out of timber? Would love to. <laughs> Should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, let me take some of this, some of this here stiff. Okay. Mushrooms? I don't know where a what? Where a tree this big could fit? Underneath it. Neat. I'm very groany over here. Is that a human? Ah, look at this. Red Dragon, how you doing? I saw someone walking by here a minute ago. Okay. Take that way with some prospector's gear. Uh, let's head back to our spot. I'm kind of curious about that human walking around. crack I've ever seen. <laughs> well, alright, let's get out of here. I kind of wish I'd gone and talked to that human a minute ago. Meet Tony back in Timber Crossing, which was here. Tony, you over... Hey, there's Tony. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Oh, we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh, uh, yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this first. You have to clean up the shed with all that garbage. I, I can do that. Sure. Garbage is my middle name. Is that a rat? Hey, Stratcher, how's it going? Okay, all done. Clean up the shed. Uh, yep. Great. Now, now I have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Ank. Grab some wood, put it back together while I tidy the place. Okay, okay. Done, I got 43 of these things. Okay, repairable things, yada yada. 
Uh, workbenches allow you to build and craft in that area. Monuments will approve the status of the area and attract more guests. Like, outhouse, I guess is nice. Uh, repairable objects. Passage will be cleared. Got it. Yeah, what can we make? No building available in this area. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Done, buddy. Did you get that workbench fixed? Yep. Brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Well, thanks. Excuse me. Where are you going? Cutting trees and hauling them to destinations the most literal form of logistics. Logistics. Excuse me, having plenty of time to get better. Now, humans go over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. No, oh, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They'd much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. What is it? Stock update. Excellent. Uh, devious oatmeal is that? Uh, night cream. Thanks for the gift. So, uh, like again, night cream. Thank you. A new recipe: shabby palate bed recipe. Make one with the workbench. Got it. Got it. I want one um, build. One of night cream. Thank you very much. Another one. Okay. Done. Got it. Okay. Uh, how do we how do we get out of that one so we can go build a room if we wanted to? Okay. Got crafting. We got my inventory. Okay. I once tried to get into carpentry, but as soon as I started, I got bored. Oh, you man, you really nailed that one. Uh, were you able to make that bed? Yep. I didn't think it could work worse than the schematics. <laughs> but here we are. I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Hurry along, put it to good use. Make a bedroom, put the bed in it. Okay, okay. Build rooms. Okay, I got it. Uh, build a room. Bedroom. Uh, I don't know. Two by three minimum size, so we'll do three by three. Okay, you need a door. And then we need to, I need a bed. done. Adding trees to any home really spruces things up. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> you and your wood puns. <laughs> Is it able to make that bread droop? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree you still sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. Sure seen a little lot about that. Or I need to make, a, make them feel welcome. Putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where, where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Yeah, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Bacon. Thanks for following. We have a front desk recipe. Okay. Okay, I'll make it. Let's go make a shed. Uh, I mean a, um... I'm gonna make a... Um, how do we do that? A front desk recipe. Okay. Put the front desk. Let's rotate. Place the front desk. Yep. Looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are you even gonna like it? I'm sure how to take a compliment. Thank you. 
Let's go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Sharky Boy! We got it. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Uh, push the green button. We'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Time has come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a, f would throw a fit of rage, calling the, uh, them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you ask Hank. All he knew for sure is that he... That was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them experience of a lifetime. Okay. Front desk. Manager guests. Okay. Okay. We got it. Okay. Paula Schultz. Come on in. So she wants comfort and decoration. My bedroom has that. We're getting some reviews from her. Excellent. What else can we make over here? We just have the two things, don't we? Old computer. It says it's a quest. Okay, we just have the two things there. Okay. Uh, I did, didn't I? Oh. Uh, soft. There we go. Okay, here. Paul Schultz will arrive tomorrow morning. Timber Crossing. Excellent. Uh... Oh, yeah, nice. Keep the walls up. I want to sleep. Can we should go talk to, talk to him, I guess. Uh, press the green button. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay. What kinds of stuff over here? Look at all this. I'm gonna like, I think I'm gonna like patch all this stuff up. There's a raccoon over there. Hey there. Hey, Took. Hello there, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where do you come from? All right, enough of the questions. What are you after? Sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. Looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble. No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong. My colossal companion, I got what you need. Stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Uh, let me have a look. A dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do you know I can trust you? Uh, my, authorita my author authoritative height. Be that as may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down here. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. All right. Uh, bus deep done this Human? Oh, hello there, bud. Uh, aren't you a good-looking one? I haven't seen your likes around my buses before. Uh, I like your hair. This <laughs> is all bear noises. Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. Uh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you... Do you take the bus? But not a broken entrance with a mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? 
You think you could uh, do a solid, bud? I got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't leave my buses. And there's no doubt any po never been any post since, well, years. Probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me. Sh sure. Hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Sure. Yeah, we can repair stuff back there too, can we? Ah, there we go, there's a TC sandwich. Can't handle the bus life. Okay, well, we got our snack for the raccoon. Did you find any grub? Yep, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mm, just like mom used to make. Are uh, you brutish charmer? I'll let you buy my special selection of swill in here. I'll even let you have this one for free. Anything else comes in price? And that'll mean none of the stinking human stuff. Awesome. Real valuables. Yeah, what do you got? I haven't seen you around here before. I used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Uh, I didn't take you for a criminal. No, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets and no bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I got a snitch. Ain't gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, uh, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran out after the big old inferno. We used to never be allowed past the fence in this thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Hey, what did anyone tell you what you don't? That you don't. Anyway, humans coming back in droves, huh? Pretty wild if you pull it off. Probably make a few uh, folks pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demands so on the business resolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. Especially slime, slim pickings if we don't get any of the good rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same thing for the kiosk up here? You used to flock around that place like raccoons do a burger wrapper. It's me, I'm a raccoon. Just getting the hang of this so it sounds a lot more complicated. Ah, this is just one of the one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. People will know about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of Google, kind of goods we'll have in the shop? What you got? Oh, you got the kind of things. You got a, you got a rug. You got a lamp. How much do I? What do you want? You want some, some of that? I will take a welcome mat, and I'll take um, some old drawers, and I'll take a janky mirror, a small bear painting, of course, and. A rug. Probably should have a light in here, too. A wall lamp. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've got dump dumpster there. Except valuables as currency. Got them. I uh, guess we'll leave behind garbage that you can collect to buy decorative things for Took. Okay, from Took. Okay, my first guest might be here. What do you got, buddy? Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Uh, -huh, hello. I have a very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Do you? What authority is that exactly? Uh, well, uh... A marvelous old travel kiosk with a jewel of timber crossing. It was once one of the it was one of the first things humans built here. Kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallelepiped. Rectangular what? We should spruce it up like we did with the shed. Someone's dinging my, my bell there. I'll try more humans and get us even more money, right? Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. It's a brilliant idea. My usual my son? As you my son's student. That's what I said. You don't actually get used to it. Let's get started right away. Don't go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble. And then we'll get to the building. Alright, we got a visitor. Oh, they're already in there. Hundred percent com comfortable. You mind if I go in there and like do some uh oh you left already. I could do a little work. I said you out here, I suppose. I want to put in, uh, I got a, a, a mirror, 
Right there, you walk in, you look at yourself. We need a bear poster. Maybe we should go inside the room. We'll get a rug as you walk in. Uh, we'll put a lamp in the room. I'm hanging right there. And uh, some old drawers. Ooh, welcome back. Oh, I can't put it outside? Outrageous. Okay. Hey, Burns, how's it going? Okay, I gotta get Beanie the Ol Oliver uh, envelope. We got that travel kiosk up here, wherever it is. What is that? Oh, this thing over here? Oh, yeah. Burns, we're a bear, and we are uh, building a bed and breakfast. Right, it's... Yep. Okay. Turn that one in. Talk to my... Can I talk to you? Well, they're <laughs> running away. <laughs> oh, clean. Uh, yep. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need just to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. I need a bit of human literature. I got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. I got it already. Oh, and some sort of writing up apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great, treasure hunt. Take your time, I'll put together everything else in the uh, meantime. Okay, I got the computer. I need to get a book on spelling from th the, uh, the thicket back home. And then a pen and a st on a string from this place. Yeah, we need humans to come back so we can we can make money. There it is, I see it blinking. First, garbage. My fine looking pen he's got there. Okay, so we gotta go back to the thicket. Mom's gonna be there. Mom's gonna be mad at me. If I've been gone for like three days. Mm. That's the quest. We're gonna do it. Washing machine there. Oh, uh, I guess we go in his bedroom. Get that book. Logs in the way. Loggers tools. I have loggers tools. Out of the way. Oh, mom's there. We gotta watch out. Mom's gonna ask questions. Oh, back to the sawdust. Oh, okay. We'll wrap around there. Well, we'll see what mom says. Make sure you don't leave on any empty stomach. Uh, too much food makes you sleep. Mom, I've been gone for three days. You didn't miss me? There's like a hobbit hole here. That book at. Got it. Anything else in here we should be stealing? That gets us out, right? Yeah. And then that's back to my bedroom. We already looked at my bedroom and all that. Hey, there's another picture of me. All kinds of stuff in mom's room. Cooking recipes. How far in am I? I mean, what am I, like 30 minutes in? How long are we playing this? Not too long. Alright, I, no, I, no, I have no concept of time, so who knows how long it's been. I used to have a very good concept of time. Whenever I did 
the YouTube 30 minute days, I like I I could feel when 30 minutes was up, but I've lost that. So I don't know. Burns flipper. Don't talk like that. You like Tooker. He's an alright fella. Well, okay. Playing this game for that long. I guess I've been, I've been playing this for an hour now? Okay, maybe, maybe it's been an hour. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we gotta give... Uh, we gotta back over there and... Oh, uh, hello! <laughs> Were you able to find everything? Yep, I got it. Oh, smiley face. I mean, you're happy? Yes, yes, this is everything we need. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What are you making? Oh, we opened up the, the, the tourist center. Oh, I don't know. Nice. We should look at that. Just like new. Yeah. Okay. Um... Man, that, uh, that otter really knows what he's doing. All it took was a book on spelling and a... And a pen. You did all that. Well, mind me, just living a wood life. Okay, okay. Okay. Is he, oh, he's probably a beaver, isn't he? Obviously, obviously. Alert, alert, looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Uh, uh prestige. That means the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It's ugly. Looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just makes your pro properties are more appealing. Add non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. An uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to the satisfying degree before returning. Hello! Okay. Some of all decoration scores across a resort. Okay. Found in the resort overview panel. Uh, okay. Trash is no good. Can we see that right here? How's she feeling? Oh, she's beautiful decorations. What's it need to be at? All right, one. I just need to be at a, at a two. We need five more prestige. Uh, I may be able to do that with what I've got in my, my pack here. No. Uh, Dark Odd. Thanks for thanks for following. Beer bottles around. Um, if we can't make anything new. We can re we can repair, I guess. But no, these are just planks. Nothing to repair here. Out a window. Sure. A green window. Let's go buy a couple more things and throw it in there. From the, the raccoon. Thanks again, Skull. Have a good one. Take it easy. Is kiosk ready? Uh, it sure is. Never thought I'd say this. Logoria. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, with 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis I found in the dumpster the other day. Ahoy That's there, gross. Mate. Thanks, Dark God, for the sub. Fix the outhouse, it's taunting me. <laughs> You're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did a good kid. Uh, there'll be more stuff for you to, uh, to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big G's. Oh, yeah? Alright, Hank, my boy. Done all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although, there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Ah. Night screen with multiple accounts. Took's garbage. Oh, yeah, from the Discord. Okay, yeah, dark. Okay. I know who you are. All right, let's go, let's go find what he's got now. Tell me your secrets. Okay, we got something to make this place look fancy. And I guess we'll get ourselves a barrel. 
And we'll get a very rustic coffee table. Ooh, a jukebox. And then, um, ooh, fancy drawers. Scented sticks. A wood shelf. On the wood shelf, we'll put a, a potted plant. Um, a snake plant. It's like an aloe vera kind of thing. Um, does it go in a pot or something? A floor mirror? What's a floor mirror? Oh, like it stands. Okay, like that. Like it. Okay. Ah, I know. I already bought one. A towel rack. Uh, let's just get a possum clock and... Oh, I'm broke. Oh, it's a hundred bucks. Okay. We'll get a book cabinet. And that will, that will probably be enough. It has to be done in this area. Okay, I don't pick this stuff up. Uh, one bus sign, we get that fixed. Okay, where's this outhouse you're talking about? This thing over here? Oh, I can fix it. Yeah, there we go, fancy. One extra, one extra guest. Okay. Let's go get that extra guest. We'll put this stuff in here. We'll go get the, the guest real quick. I gotta build another bedroom, don't I? Of course. I guess we're gonna have to be like, cooking and making bathrooms and things as well. Let's put it um, next to this one. How do I add a door? I have the, I have the money for a door. 160. Oh, whoops. I want... Yeah, that. There we go. Door. I'm gonna make a bed. Then we'll, we'll be all right. Okay. Craft a bed. Okay, and then in this place, we're gonna put the bed in. Put in a decorative barrel outside. We'll put it right there as you walk in. Snake plants. Snake room. Book cabinet. Sure, sure. Something can go on top of that. We can put a potted plant on top. That's it. Oh, a shelf. Okay. Can you go? Oh, I see. Right there. Put, th put things on it later. Okay, our prestige is level 2. We're gonna we get a second guess, though. Um, oh, we don't have anyone that was requesting a, ro a room, so we won't do it yet. Better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property value by a quarter of a percent. 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Okay. What's the eye over here do? I have my head. Ah. Uh, let's just run over here and see if we can get this. Oh, you know what? Let's go. To, let's, let's nap. And get up in the morning. Oh, much better. Do we have anyone else that wants to join us? We do have some. Who's we at? Uh, our bedroom is. We got five and five, and we got fives all around. So we can't take Madison or Poppy. We can take these two, though. We want more higher decorations. We can get more decorations. Yeah, you go to, you go to bedroom one. And then uh, Phoebe here. We'll take Phoebe. Or whatever your name is. Okay, 
So we need a little bit more decoration, I guess, for their bedroom. First, we're going to do the envelope thing. That was bedroom one. I guess we have to put more stuff in there. We'll put a plant in there or something. Wait, what was... Where does a beaver... Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I missed your burns. Where does a beaver get a perfectly fitting construction jacket from a catalog? Huh. Because, you see, they cut trees into... Yeah, yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. What am I doing over here? I'm distracted now. With this. <laughs> uh, is this, this your home, buddy? Don't mind me, just living a wood life. Okay. We gotta find, uh, that, um... Noisy stuff over here. There they are. Hey. S Sabine? I don't believe we met yet. How'd you end up here? With my feetsies? <laughs> Good physical activity is always a great idea. You can understand me. I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Hey, what am I saying right now? That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. I feel bad, I'm sorry. I'm just joking you. What's a big soft like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like uh, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, best bus person. Give me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Don't worry, he trusted you. Let me see it. Can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. Both my... <laughs> if I get the dead. <laughs> no, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. We barely had gotten it, uh, his driver's license. And I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where we put stations and buses for everything. I thought it burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, you came all this way, but you could get this thing back to him. B doesn't even know I have the rest. Uh, compass? You can have this. I'll find your way back faster. A new area map view. A area map can be accessed through the map button next to the minimap. All the important landmarks, landmarks and stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, even shows like the, the stuff on the ground. Hmm. You think I missed over here? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I don't think we have enough stuff for this over here. Let's see if we do. Take a peek. This way. I think we need a. Uh, we need like the mining thing, don't we? Yeah, prospector's gear. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go get this back to what's his face. This needs fixing up. Oh, another, another bus spot. Okay, okay. I guess I'm going to have to make those bus signs, I'm guessing. Possibly find them out here somewhere. This is going to lead me back to my home. We don't want that. Okay, we'll give all of it. I mean, there's a bus sign right there. I see it right there. What is that? Dark Odd. Holy cow. Thank you, Dark Odd. Wow. Thank you very much, Dark Dark Odd Night Scream. That's incredible. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to let's go to Oliver down here. It's gonna be noisy here for a minute. Uh, the the best kind of noisy. <laughs> thanks again, thanks again, Dark Odd. Uh, we're gonna go over here and chat with this guy and give him his uh, his uh, atlas. Heck, already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the the letter? Uh, yep. Oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear, sorry. So what'd she say? She gave me this for you. Oh wow. 
Bud, she found the rest of us. That's incredible, Bud. Going all this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. There's sawdust and High Lake, and, and this is where we are. Uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley's huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it doesn't feel right for us to just sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time, but with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't even think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Hey, two bus signs! And an atlas. First, we're still next to the shed. How about it? How about it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bus sign number one. Okay, fast travel has been unlocked. I expect lots of, uh, of new emotes, new subscriber emotes in chat. I want to see skellies waving and uh, um, shake, shaky oofs, rainbow oofs, uh, everything. We're not going to access by the, uh, access by the clicking the, what, where am I button and the, uh, where? Where's this at? I missed where that one's at. Local map. World map. Ah, look at that. Oh, there's a lot more around here. Check that out. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, we did it. Let's go talk to this guy. There they are. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Did that bus stop fixed? Sure did. That's great news, bud. I was in like a friendly, easygoing softy, one of the few people that stuck around in the valley. Took on you the hand's crooked critter with taste for stolen baloney. Strange pair had lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Boom. We'll drive you there anytime. Ooh, a toolbox. Leave the shop and find new items available for purchase. Hank, where are you? Hank, where you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and he taught me how to find some lumber, and then we made a bed for humans, and where did you find all the alligator weed? Oh, uh, we didn't find any of that, just, just pine and plywood. Any minute now. Uh, we also had to use some cotton. Hank. Yes? Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Um, okay. Can I use it? Let's see. One, two, one, one. Okay, real quick. Nothing can be crafted. No. No. Okay. Uh, I just won't be quite as comfortable as, uh, as other bedrooms. It's fine. They'll be all right. back home. Talk to mom. I think she's mom. We call her Margaret, though. Mom, right? We call her mom at the beginning. Oh, I never... I wonder if I should have gone and found that stuff. Hank! Kids! Uh-oh. Hank, where you been? My goodness gracious. You all right? Did, you, did something happen? Uh, I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom, we, we didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. Humans are coming back. A and another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't, I don't see anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more vi to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll be able to learn all about them, and... And I get to make stuff for them. Me, Tony, taught me how to build a bed. I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... 
it's nice to do something out there for a change, something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least, you're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta check on our humans. I got a trucker cap. Nice. Hey, at least you forgot your hat next... No, uh, don't forget your hat next time. Get some rest. Hey, buddy, what do you want? Anton. Don't get up for me. I can just see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. It's not true. I didn't know such thing. It's a good thing. Uh, it is. An oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash talking associates, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Or, I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want. I don't care. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to sleep first. So we got a new map, uh, new map thing. Uh, where? So go south of Timber Crossing and enter the, enter the A24. Crossing. No doubt. Yeah. Mm, all right. Uh, little snap. Okay. Two guests have arrived, and I've got new stay requests. I can't see that unless I'm there, though, right? You know what? I'm gonna go over this way because we can stop by and build that. We'll build that um that bus station up. Bye, mom. Fresh trash. Ooh, there's a bed over here. Okay, if we can build that, that bus stop, I think we can go fast travel over to the other place. We should do that. Squished, you have very appropriate uh, emotes there. Yeah, fix this guy up. Okay. Let's go there. Who are you? Barbara? Who's that? Why? This is quite unexpected. You're a big fellow, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. That's all right. You're not the first critter I've met around in these parts. Don't be afraid. Uh, who are you? Questioning bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? Yes. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Oh, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. And like, uh, almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Do you have a hand in that? Built with my own two paws. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say that was quite an accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Yep. 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 Okay, bye. Hello! Okay, we gotta go get um, something to beauty up that room. Let's do that real quick before we do anything else. Hello again! Over here. Okay, we gotta get something to. S did I buy a ju a ju I guess I, I thought I bought a jukebox. Oh, it's 150 bucks. That's why I didn't buy it. Um, I want to have 67, so we can't anything too fancy. We need something that's gonna give us some 
decorative. That's a three. Let's buy one of those. And so painting. How much is that painting? Ten. Excuse me, sir. Um, we can buy... A uh, cardboard box. Let's get a lamp. I want, the, I want the wall one. Yeah. Another one of those. And a fancy barrel. And we'll get another one of these these plants. Okay. Uh, uh. Hey, 007 Gamer. And Rainbow Tiki. How's it going? I think she's the one who wants fancy things in her room. So let's go craft. No, we don't want to craft. We want to, we want to place. So we'll put in a plant. Can't quite fit it there. As you walk in, uh, we'll get the wall lamp up here. And there. Actually, let's move. Actually, let's put it back here. No, I, got, I got one outside already. Which I can't grab now. Um, I want a painting if this is gonna fit uh, yeah I guess it does do I want it on this one let's put it over here and then I should probably get stuff to go yeah I got all the stuff that, that can put things on top of it but nothing go on top of it okay does that qualify now how do we know if let me go over here There we go, five, five and five and eight. That's what it is. That's what you want. That's what it is. Yeah, got it. Charming. Since we had a guest, we had a, we got a review in here. Great lovely experience and great hosts will be booking in advance for my next trip. Five stars. Look at that. Excellent. Paula Schultz, you're the best. Uh, can I take one of you, Callista here? Higher than average, but we can do it. And Anthony wants to live, stay here for two days. We can do it. Put him in bedroom one. We'll be here tomorrow. And then you want higher than average comfort, which I don't know if I have that. I don't know what my, my bedrooms are at. Let's just bring Finn. Yeah, that's plus nine. Yeah, put you in there. This guy's green. Okay. We're throwing apples on the ground. Let's go this way. So south of... So this way. Down the road, I think. Desertie around here. Rattlesnakes. Ah, a diner. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna build all this stuff up, aren't we? Yeah, the A24. I'll take the freeze. stop sign. What's going on over here with this mouse? Hey there, Claire. Not here either. You either skipped town again or is lying in a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Now that's 10 o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. A hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet, anyway. H how'd you find the trip, Hank? Like you told my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. 
I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? <laughs> sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You wouldn't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Well, what place? This place! Everything that the stench touches. You haven't heard all the these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back into the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Block Moss border. We are out doing our scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. Any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me, uh, in my, you need me in my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer set foot in that place. Already got customers, sir. I'll let you keep any scrap you found in here if you get us uh, Wade back. Already right, got your scrap. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay. Okay. What mean, mean little mice. Mama said there'd be mean rats out there. What if I just go walk? What if I just go in here? I mean, it's not really like locked up or anything. Good place to hide a body. <laughs> Alright. Don't need you guys anymore. We'll go find a Wade. Go to Black Moss Maze. Wait, we did that. Oh. Why is it still telling me to do that quest? I guess it's still continuing it. It's quite like it wants me to go here. What's over here? Oh, back to Black Moss. Imagine if this game got dark and you did get rid of human bodies. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> It started out real dark. Real dark. Sparkles. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, said it just like I did. Oh, not this again, I swear on my tail. We got like the voodoo crocodile. What happened to this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms. I heard it always come from the trees. Oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. Sure as hell I ain't gonna do it for you. Doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I was just looking for a friend. A friend here? Happy I ain't what it used to be. It's pretty small and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small? Are we talking? Small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no, it's a rat. His name's Wade. Crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know your Wade is. Unfortunately, come inside. Uh, inside? Uh, don't go boy all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Let's turn him into a puppet. Uh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, uh, golly, what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Man, what was it like, the thing? Oh, uh, you mean a little artifact of yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you ever seen. Well, it stank too real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Well, Twig, what I say about liais, 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 liaison, li liasing, liasing? I don't know that word. With a criminal. Criminal? Where? Yes, sir, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one of that. Wade, you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, no, I'm not. Yes, he is. He's festering noisy pests. Can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of them. Shush, child. Who wants to know? Liaising? 
to to liaise, like a liaison, liaising. <laughs> I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let you he'd let me use the dump so I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she said you wanted him to go on. Well, I got a fetch quest. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies from my pickle juice. You won't find him anywhere else but the black moss. Or maybe the bird brain of A25 has some, some, some for sale. He gets them here anyway. Bring me back a few and I'll uh, see about jailbreaking your new found friend. How much do you want? Seven? Right. Turn your light off, that'll show you. Oh, it's you. Ain't got anything nice to say. You probably don't have anything nice smart to say either. Oh, listen here, little jerk. Oh, that, that, is that water and this is... No, yeah. This place is the worst. It's all the same color. I think that's... Well, I think that's six for us. Right there. There we go. Done. Easy enough. Uh, yep. Dozen lilies. One, two, looks right. Good, this better have been worth your time. Because next time you talk, taking them back in a jar. And paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Just, child. Shout out the half-tailed alligator struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Who, by the mayor, tiny, mere tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually fit, try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the, that's the hope, at least. Alright, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. To communicate or maintain contact with another person or organization. In other words, li liaising. Liaising is acting like the contact between two groups. It's like, yeah, it's like a liaison. Liaisoning. Liaisoning. Okay, Anton, we'll tell you what happened. Where are you going? Toss me in the soup. You said it wouldn't fit your cauldron. this. I'll take it. Got some guests back there at the house, so I'm, I'm kind of ignoring. I'm sure that'll be fine. Is it called, is it pronounced liaising? Liaising? It must be liaising. Alright, rat. Hey, you're not stepping on one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot! Yes, ma'am. For a month! Yes, ma'am. First rule of garbageology, garbage jar garbarcology, garbarchaeology is the because the cream always rises to the top. Make sure you dig down deep. Claire's obviously the right hand for the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty of to the old rat. Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in his in this line of business. Way would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in a limited capacity only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. I would say I've had enough of him. But then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on, on hand. Like for sending out old, on an old wild goose chases. Exactly. You're welcome. 
Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we're always keeping our word. Oh, there's the dump. Uh, that's a lot of junk. Okay. Endless supply of junk. What do, we need, what do I need a dumpster for if I got all this stuff? Nope. Oh, somebody's at my, my place. I probably should get back up there. I need to get to bed. This might be where we wrap it up here. Take a little peek around here, though, and see what we can find. There's the highway. Maybe we'll get us just like a. Um, maybe we can cut our way through here with prospector's gear again. Quite a day today. We um we built a Viking home. We um we built a bed and breakfast as a bear. We learned a new word today. Um, what a day! What a day! I'll be back tomorrow night. We will stream some more things. Probably the last starship. I said that before, and I lied. So, uh... I'll do, I'll do some more of that. And we'll get ourselves a, um... Unless something comes up. <laughs> but we'll get ourselves a capital ship built. Hey, buddy, you staying at my hotel? Hey. Let's take a look. The motel. Oh, look, we can have... Oh, we're going to have more than just one thing. Look at that. That's what that place is. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read these reviews. So we've got... Reviews. A four and a half. Actually, decent stay. I might be tempted to recommend it. Myra. How dare you. Paul is great. Myra's not so great. And uh, Phoebe is great. Got a lot of cash out of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the money yet. I don't think I have a reason for the, the money. They're here for two days. Uh, complete style. Thanks for following. Thanks again, Dark Odd. Uh, we'll see what this guy's going to lead us to. Yeah, yeah. Nice, you're earning uh, equivalent trips to a door-to-door -door salesman. Presence with an opportunity. Presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve prestigious pawn voyage, whatever, you have to bring the property to this area up to our standards. Uh, complete the stay for at least... Plus one more guest in Timber Crossing. Okay. Well, let's wrap it up here. What a strange and fantastic game. He's got all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. All right. Um, there is Baron Breakfast. It is out now, um, by Gummy Cat. GOG gave me the key, so I'm showing off the GOG page, but it's everywhere. And, um, it's out in, I think it's in full release, I do believe. I don't think there's anything early access about it. Um, be a bear. Personalize your aim with dozens of guest rooms, and I guess build multiple ones. Story rich world of, bed, of bear and breakfast. Dozens of interesting folks and weirdos, much like yourself. Um, yeah, the, the beginning is weird. Not everyone is as helpful as needy, as, uh, as needy though. Are you a bear enough to are you bear enough to search deep within the forest and your soul to find the mysteries that lie within? Yeah, got a weird start to it. Anyway, we're gonna call it a day. GOG are good people. GOG has has. Um, sent me a lot of keys um, for games to show off here. Not, not like nothing um, that's nothing in return. Just here's a key. Try it out. Um, good folks. So um, let's call it a day. Thanks again for hanging out. I'll be back here tomorrow night. We'll play some more things. Um, probably some Last Starship, but unless something else pops up that I didn't realize. <laughs>